G'day everyone, Jason Nunn, Fisherman's Warehouse Tackle Marks Point. With a late Friday fishing report, guys, I'd just like to thank everyone that came in today for our huge retirement sale and obviously clearing all of our fishing tackle through. From seven o'clock this morning, guys, you were kicking the door down. I've had a, uh, just a great response and, and it's nice to touch base with a few old friends along the way. Of course, at the moment, can't even get out to do the report, so we're gonna do it at the shop. Howling nor'easter out there at the moment, guys, and I had an opportunity to have a look at the sea. It's just boiling at the moment. Tomorrow, those northerly winds will stay in pretty much all day and, and some really hot temperatures. Sunday, a bit of south-southwest, and it's gonna steady up. So Sunday, probably the better day for offshore. Of course, the prawn run happening this week, and the first night was Thursday night. Uh, tonight again, uh, it'll all come together. You've got a low tide coming through at around about 11 o'clock tonight. So you're gonna see that change of the tide in the channel, guys, probably eight quarter past eight. So a good opportunity to get out there just on dark and then prawn all the way through. And that'll continue right into next week. Tomorrow morning, high tide, just a bit after 6 a.m. And of course that low will then be up around about midday. Now, we'll give you some results of what's been going on out wide. 23 and a half degree water temp. Spoke to Benny Jones yesterday, took his father for his first time to the shelf fishing. Congratulations, Mr. Jones. Your first marlin. One hour of trolling out there. His first strike marlin, really nice fish too, probably in and around about 80 kilo. This is what, basically what's happening is those upwellings, those nutrient upwellings, they're sort of just out of the coast here at the moment and it's starting to push through. There's a real temp break, a real current line happening just above the mid canyons where you've basically got 1.7 knots of current one side and 0.4 the other. So it's just eddying around in there and the baits there. Albatross are out there at the moment, plenty of mutton birds and lots of slimies, lots of little pencil slimies, but the striped marlin are there and there's also some really nice big dolphin fish. And we've had a few reports, some of these dolphin fish have been seen up into burly slicks and the like, 15 or 20 kilos, so there's some cracking Mahi Mahi out there at the moment. There was a bit of a bite also last Sunday down off Broken Bay in the round of 75 to 90 fathoms. So the fishing off the coast at the moment starting to get into next level. So Sunday, I think, is going to be the pick. If you're going to get on the inshore, there's plenty of dolphin fish around. There's dolphin fish out on Swansea Fad. And as we talked about last week, there's also dolphin fish out there along that trap line. And there's some better dolphin fish there, but some really nice fish on the fad. Still some snapper getting caught, of course, and still some trag. But if you're gonna get on the inshore reefs, there's now a sprinkling, only a sprinkling, of bonito starting to get coastly, which is really the first sign of this pelagic activity. Trag, still some mulloway, still some inshore snapper, and a real variety of fish on these inshore reefs. But again, you've gotta be careful with that big nor'easter, particularly on those low tides in, around about that lunch interval. Um, so just keep your eye on, I think still Sunday, the better of the days. Beach-wise, plenty of really good whiting. We have some class fish getting caught on our coastal beaches at the moment. Some really nice brim as well. And of course, a few flays. And there are a few school dew, not only on our part of the beach here down the Blackie stretch, but right the way up through Stockton. So the whole beach setup is really starting to come of age. Hopefully, as I say, this bit of a sour west southerly tomorrow, break the back of that nor'easter and don't roll so it doesn't roll that warm water over that we've physically got. You're getting in the channel, we've seen a little bit of an increase in squid, a few kingies of course down at the bridge, but some really nice whiting right the way through the estuary, so right the way from Blackie's Breakwater up through Salts Bay and up around the island. Some beautiful catches of whiting and brim on tube worms in particular, guys. We've still got plenty of tubes, but I reckon we'll probably get hammered um, throughout tomorrow and of course as our retirement sale continues um, no doubt our stock levels will start to get down but plenty of tubes at the moment if you want an early start some nice kings in the lake some nice mile away and there's been some really nice crabs but there's you've got to be careful in your crabs guys I've heard of a few guys uh, over the last four or five days keep your eye on there's a few guys out there pilfering uh, crabs at, and certainly crab pots at the moment so don't go too far away from now hopefully we get some sort of something to settle down and I've seen lots of Facebook pages and you know the posts coming in of guys going so what 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 but went low on Tuesday night for example 39 people fishing on top of Swansea Bridge there's no chance in the wide world you're ever going to drive a boat through there so the hazard 
of uh, getting entangled in line is what we're talking about. And look, it's not local people are doing it, so I'm sure the authorities are well aware of what's going on through there. Squid in the lake, a few down at Murray's, there's a few at the drop over, but guys, you're just gonna have to work around, but I think next week, as that tide gets later and that prawn run starts to wane away and starts to get late in the week, you'll see a lot more squid throughout the Channel area. Mate, all in all, guys, it's gonna be a better day Sunday. If you're gonna to fish tomorrow, stay in the lake, stay in the estuary, take advantage of what's going on coastally, get a few of these whiting, and of course, our retirement sale clearance continues right the way through now up until our stock level drops off. But we've still got plenty of bait, still plenty of smiling faces. We'll be here tomorrow early to continue in our quest for retirement. See you next Friday.